Hi, welcome to Vivid Pets 101. My name is Heather Winget with Sit Stay LK Canine Training, and this is Lucy. She is a six month old um, Australian Shepherd miniature, and today we're going to talk about leash reactive dogs. So we're going to talk today about a leash reactive dog and what the definition of a leash reactive dog is. So a leash reactive dog is a dog that is fearful or flighty or um, barks at the end of the leash or lunges or shows us any kind of uncontrollable excitability. So I want to go into um, leadership and what is lack of leadership and what is appropriate leadership. So some of the common offenses when we're talking about lack of leadership would be not giving our dog enough structure, giving them too much privilege, um, which could be giving them too much free reign around our house if we have a young dog, um, allowing them to jump up on the couches, or really any type of unearned affection. The reason that we don't want to give our dog freebie affection is because it tends to make them not want to work for us as much, just because they know that they can get whatever they want whenever they want. So it's really important um, for us to kind of ask them for some, di some direction, give them some direction, have them sit, have them lay down. Even having them calm um, is something that's way better than just giving them affection on a free basis. So something that you guys should think about is how to create structure with your dog in your everyday life. Some things that we can implement are having them sit at the door before we invite them out or sit before we welcome them back in, sitting for their food. All of those type of things show our dog that we're in control. And when we show our dog that we're in control, they look to us for leadership and look to us for guidance. So when we ask a dog for eye contact, it's always a positive thing, especially when our dog is about to go for a walk or throughout the house. Eye contact means that they're engaged. Lucy. See how she gave me eye contact right there? That is telling me that she's attentive and engaged and waiting for me to ask her to do something. So throughout your day, the day with your dog or when you're taking her for a walk, try and go ahead and call your dog's name, Lucy, and just ask her to give you some eye contact. If it helps you, you can also point to your nose and then when your dog gives you the eye contact and locks eyes with you, you can go ahead and praise them. Lucy, good girl, good girl. So in conclusion, I think it's really important to make sure that all of our family is on the same page. So whether or not you're a family of one or a family of 10, I think that you guys should all sit down together and formulate a training program for your dog. That way, everyone is on the same page, using the same words, using the same body language, and that will help to speed up the dog's progress. Thanks for watching. My name is Heather Wingett with Sit Stay OK Canine Training, and I hope this video left you feeling a little bit more educated and empowered. See you next time.